My name is Greg Assel. I'm a film editor, the editor of Senna. Um, I have got features, drama features, I've got documentary features, and it's two very different things. Um, a drama feature is very much led by, first of all, the screenwriter and then the uh, director and the DOP, and they are uh, they are the first line of, of, of uh, understanding of, of the film. In documentaries, it's slightly different because you're all the time reevaluating the material you have because you can't, nobody have designed the material for your purposes. You're trying to shape the material into your purposes. So that's a very different thing. So if you have something like Senna, one of the most brilliant Grand Prix he ever did, the uh, Dunnington, I believe it was in 87 or something like that, where he, again, pole position, got it wrong off the line, I think he was last or something like that, and by the time they came round, he was first. He overtook the whole grid on one lap. Now that's amazing, absolutely amazing, except the footage is rubbish, so forget it. And so you all the time in documentaries have to be you know, deal with was reality and what you have footage of and where you can be strong. And and I know this sounds really silly, but you really got to work to your strengths. I think we all, when we started meeting and, and talking, it was quite clear what we all wanted to do. And I don't think various people's background really came into it at all. What was more interesting was that we were all dedicated to the story. I was not a great motor racing, you know, I, I like motor racing, but I'm, I'm, I'm not what you would call a fan. And, um, but we all knew fairly early on that this was a really good story. And I guess the main thing about Senna really is that we were given amazing access to material that nobody had ever seen before. And because of that, people's different skills, like as they're coming from a drama background, um, uh, manage, me, whatever, all these different people were able to do something because we suddenly realized that we are seeing something that nobody had ever seen before. 20 minutes. Não é comum o pódio não acontecer logo depois da corrida. Quanto mais demorasse, mais a gente temia que a decisão caísse para um lado político. One of the most amazing bits of footage was when Senna was cheated out of, of the World Championship and being able to see that cheating through the windows was just quite astounding. And it, that, was, that was really quite a moment. And there was mo one or two moments like that where you kind of thought, this is actually now moving into a territory where nobody had been before, which is fantastic. Interviews that were done at the time, we chose not to show them because we didn't feel that we wanted to break the storyline and the story flow, and also because we had some much bloody great material of these people. And a lot of people liked that, just because it was different. And it had a visual identity because of that. And for cinema, you really need to challenge those kind of boundaries, and you really need to decide how you structure the story, and you really need to decide how you make it into a cinematic experience. E hoje não tem tanto, vai ter que dar. Vai ter que dar e vai ter que chegar em primeiro porque ele é maior do que todos e ele vai me dar essa corrida depois de tudo. E foi isso mesmo. Deus me deu essa corrida e e valeu. E eu tô feliz demais e a emoção foi muito grande.
everybody can cut two shots together. Uh, it's that's easy. A, a, a medium and a, and a close up is always going to cut. It's the problem is when you've got to cut two mediums together, and that's where the skill first of all starts. Do you want to start on the crane? Do you want to start on on wherever, or do you want to start? on that little shot of the teaspoon being put on the table. Now that is up to you to decide. And documentaries, something like Senna, which had, I don't know how many, thousands, thousands of hours. But when you actually start an analyzing it and start looking at the picture language you want to deploy and how you want to deploy it, then it starts getting a lot clearer. But you just need quite a lot of experience to be able to do that. Yeah. I look at scenes and I look at it and I think I'm completely swamped. So I have a first go at it and then I get rid of half of it. Right, okay. Then I look at it again. Right, okay, now we have half of it. Let's get rid of another half of it. And then you go like that. And I know that doesn't sound very scientific and doesn't sound very kind of, you know, great, whatever, but it's very, very practical. And also it means that whatever even though, oh yeah, I've just thrown away 50% of it, doesn't mean that you have made a decision. It, it, what it means is you've decided that 50% is simply not good enough. It's got to go.